Hello guys, uh Beer in Canandez is over here. And I'm doing something different for Wii Sports Wednesday today because I'm not gonna do just Wii Sports. It's more like a Nintendo Wednesday, but I'm gonna just call it Wii Sports Wednesday since that has ranked it. Anyways, so Splatoon 2, very fun. I played it a lot, I enjoyed it, and here's a ranking of all tracks. And before I start, I will need to beg you to join my Discord. And you know how most of you do when you like join my Discord or die? Well no. We're gonna do something positive positive. If you join my Discord, I will DM you a very good lollipop of your flavor. To just DM me the flavor and I'll DM you back and you can just eat it all you want and it's gonna be very big too it never expires so if you want to save it yeah but let's go there's a lot of wrong with port macro let's just start with how boring these visuals are good 3 out of 10 it's just boxes and stuff and then the layout skinny and long but so many boxes as well 3 out of 10 and for game board game modes, turf war is actually 8 out of 10 because I like the skinniness. It fits my playstyle. I like to splat like every corner. And Rainmaker is an 8 out of 10 for the same reason. And same with tower control, but clan is 1 out of 10. That's booty cheeks and splat zone 3 out of 10. At right, 22, we have Skipper Pavilion. The layout is the worst in the game. 0 out of 10. It ruins every mode, but I do enjoy turf war a little here. 9 out of 10. And clan blitz is a blast. So that's a 9 out of 10. Everything else is like 5 out of 10. Individuals are 4 out of 10. New Albacore isn't a good one. Big size maps aren't for me, and there are so many holes in it. For visuals, this track wins like an 8 out of 10. I like the water, and it feels vacation like. For each game mode, I'm gonna have to give Turf War a good 5 out of 10. Even though it's big, it does better than everything in other size of big maps. The problem is that big maps aren't for my place though. Splat Zones is a 7 out of 10. Splat Zone very fun. I, I don't like really like getting to the Splat Zone too because there's a lot of jumping and stuff. Clan Blitz, 9 out of 10. Despite that being my least favorite mode, I, I like this. I like it over here. Tower control, 9 out of 10. And the layout of this is definitely getting 3 out of 10. Nintendo tried to go for something complicated, but this seems too messy and ugly. Sturgeon Shipyard is definitely a, uh, it's a level. It's 6 out of 10 for the layout. But it does make Tower Control and Rainmaker very fun. 10 out of 10 before for them. Clan Blitz is 7 out of 10. And Turf War is 3 out of 10. Splat Zones kind of sucks here also. So 3 out of 10. Like you're, you're so bound to get cheesed by your opponents. It's like they, everybody has plus 5 range over here. Black Belly is a really cool track and concept. But the execution is poor. First, the walls. The walls. The walls. Um, I don't like the, the, Like look, it's too wavy. It's too steep and like less steep walls and the, if this place had less steep walls it would benefit greatly. That gives the layout a good 5 out of 10 for me. Visuals are nice though, 6 out of 10. And for boats, tower control is chaotic, 6 out of 10. Turf 4 is terrible because of the layout, 1 out of 10. Clamp is alright, 6 out of 10. And splat zones, it's always a mess. So 7 out of 10. But Rainmaker is very cool here because the walls actually make it better. So 9 out of 10. Anchovy games is very good. But the size on this track is a complete disgrace for Turf War, and I'd never want to play Turf War here again. So that's a 0 out of 10. Each other mode besides Splat Zones benefits from the layout. Splat Zones is a 5 out of 10. So the layout is a 7 out of 10, and the visuals gave it an 8 out of 10. Rainmaker is ultra fun over here, 10 out of 10. Clan Blitz is pretty solid, 7 out of 10. And Tower Control is 8 out of 10, so it's a solid stage. Macomart is very enjoyable, but it's carried by its visuals, which is a 9 out of 10. The layout ain't that bad either. It's tougher to navigate, so 7 out of 10. For Turf War, this track is a level too wide to be enjoyed, so 5 out of 10. And Clan Blitz is a blitz because the layout, so that's 10 out of 10. Rainmaker is kind of crippled by the big layout, too many paths to navigate, and it takes also too much to get to the right one. So that's 7 out of 10. And Splat Zones, that thing is a height. Tower Control is going to be a good 7 because defending sucks on this map. My problem with Pump Back Pump Track is how wavy it is. Like, it makes Turf War pain, so that's 1 out of 10. The layout's good though, but all the waves and walls the, makes it not as good. And also, the ink rolls do make up for it, complements other modes, so 6 out of 10. Splat Zones is fun here, 9 out of 10. And Rainmaker is a pain for the same reason Macomart is the pass. That's 7 out of 10. Tower Control's a height. 8 out of 10, and the layout with the walls make clan blades not as good here, 6 out of 10. But the visuals make up for it, 8 out of 10. The reef, the reef is a big one. So I hate the layout here, 3 out of 10. And the visuals aren't very good either, 3 out of 10. But this map managed to do the impossible. All the game modes are perfect here. But besides turf 4, that's 4 out of 10. Marijuana Mall is carried by its visual. 11 out of 10 for that, but the layout is way too long for me to like it, so 5 out of 10. Tour 4 is great, 8 out of 10. Tower Control is good, 8 out of 10 as well. Rainmaker is where my opinions start to vary. The track is just too long for it, 4 out of 10. Clan Blitz suffers the same fate, 4 out of 10 as well. 
And Splat Zone's very cool. I like getting up to 810. I mean, Anthem Marie is the best track from a place I was the right size and the right layout. 10 out of 10 for that, but the visuals are just a 4 out of 10. Rainmaker's 10 out of 10, Splat Zone's 10 out of 10, and Tower Control 10 out of 10. The thing with this map is that defending is so fun. When the team is like very close to you, it's fun to defend it because how tiny, how tiny the map is, and same goes for offense. And definitely in Splat Zones, the offense is good. Clam Blitz is only 6 out of 10 and Turf War, it's good. 7, 8 out of 10. Wahoo World is where things get to get very, very good. Everything in Wahoo World is solid, like the visuals are some of the best in the game, so 11 out of 10. Layout is very good, 9 out of 10, and I like the moving circle a lot. Turf War is great at 8 out of 10. Tower Control is 8 out of 10 as well, and Clam Blitz is alright, 7 out of 10. Rainmaker kinda suffers due to the unusual layout, so I'm gonna have to give it a 7 out of 10. And Splat Zones is where it starts to get a little hectic over here. The paths are good for every other mode, but getting to the zone here is big stress. Inkblot has very good visuals, 8 out of 10. Layout is also good, but side paths are unneeded, 8 out of 10. Splat Zones is at its peak over here, 10 out of 10. The tower in the middle makes it all. Rainmaker is good since you can have multiple paths to get to the goal, 9 out of 10. And Clam Blitz is very good, 8 out of 10. Turf 4 is a 6 out of 10. And no, tower control is 6 out of 10. Turf 4 is an 8. Entering the top 10, we got a personal favorite, Piranha Plit. Piranha Pit, best layout ever, 10 out of 10, but don't bother with Turf War over here, that's doo doo, 0 out of 10. Rainmaker, on this map, I have the wildest Rainmaker matches of all time, 11 out of 10. Splatoon is alright, 6 out of 10, Clam Blitz is definitely something here, 6 out of 10. And Tower Control is great, that's a 10 out of 10. Vin Vigils, pretty good, 6 out of 10. And Camp Triggerfish has a very good system, uses the layout very well, giving it a 10 out of 10, and Vigils are 8 out of 10. Splatoon is my favorite here, 11 out of 10, because the two things are split up. And if you have the right weapons, you can stay at your side and defend from there while also splitting the other one. Rainmaker is solid, 7 out of 10. Tower Control and Clan Place are messes, 7 out of 10. Turf War is more functional here than on other maps, 6 out of 10, still not as good. Man, Snapper Canal has everything. Literally all modes are great, 10 out of 10. Too bad the visuals are doo doo, 3 out of 10, so the layout gives an 11 out of 10. And the thing with all the modes is that there's so many paths. Even Turf War is fun over here with how big it is. So much things to do on both offense and defense, and they contribute all. No matter what you do, it's gonna contribute to the team win. Excellent. These next are my seven favorite in the game and are the best of the best. Starfish main stage, the layout is the layout is a 10 out of 10, and these visuals are the best. 13 out of 10. I love the concert feel here. Raymaker is mad rather messy, an 8 out of 10 for me. And Clam Blitz, 6 out of 10. The other modes are 10 out of 10. Turf War is a good 8 out of 10. Now Muscle Torch Fitness, that's where it all happens. The layout is a 10 out of 10 and the visuals 11 out of 10 with the things in the back that you climb on. Every mode is perfection here. All 10 out of 10 besides Turf War which is just an 8, it's almost perfect. But Clam Blitz, Clam Blitz, I think it's the best here, so 14 out of 10. Kelp Dome's visuals and layouts are all 10 out of 10. Clam Blitz sucks so here, so 5 out of 10. And the other modes are all 10 out of 10. I love the circle in the middle with all the bridges and stuff, and the track being a square makes the layout so better. I had my best Splatoon games over here, like almost besides Clan Blitz, and I guess Turf War, that's a 6 out of 10. Rainmaker's at its peak here, 14 out of 10. Walleye Warehouse is perfect, layout 11 out of 10, visuals 10 out of 10, and the perfect layout makes exactly every level fun. Tower Control is a 12 for me, and everything else is just 10. What makes Tower Control so special is that you have so many places to defend from, and guess who loves to some defense? A track with this type of layout should not be that good, like, for real, the layout is an 8 out of 10 because it's too long. Vigils are only 9 out of 10 and Clan Blitz is 9 out of 10, but Turf War is a perfect 10, but then the other modes, Splat Zones is 13 out of 10. The, the defense here is absolutely great, the best, and the offense is too, you can play, you have so many positions to play defense and offense from, and all the elevations give you it. And that's the same with Rainmaker, the layout complements the defense, and if you got the Rainmaker, you're in for a whole lot of fun, and tower control is perfect. Now Gobi Arena holds a special place in my heart. The thing with Gobi Arena dates back to 2018 when I was just getting into the NBA and Gobi reps with Kobe so I always called this map the Kobe Arena. The visuals are also stunning 10 out of 10 and the layout is perfect as well 10 out of 10. But the game modes, first is the best track from Turf War, 12 out of 10 and tower control is great due to the legends you can stand from and defend from. 13 out of 10, just splash him. Rainmaker is also the same and if you know what you're doing it's an instant win, 12 out of 10. Clan Blitz is 11 out of 10, and Splat Zones peaks here, 12 out of 10, and also, since I used to call this a Kobe Arena and the recent tragedy of Kobe's passing, playing other stage hits different, I always play stronger here than other places. Schellendorf Institute, like what else could have been number one? Schellendorf Institute is literally the perfect Splatoon track, 
it, it is maximized with visuals are 11 out of 10. Layout is the best in the game, 15 out of 10. Turn 4 is 11 out of 10. Rainmaker Peaks here, 15 out of 10. Due to all the passes you can take, and defense is fun. Splat Zones is 15 out of 10. Visuals add a lot here, and the defense is great. Clan Blitz is 11 out of 10. And finally, I think I'll have to give Tower Control a 16 out of 10. Because that's how good. The defense here is stellar. And that's my ranking of all Splatoon tracks. Hope you enjoyed this vid. Because I love this game and I have fun making this vid. Goodbye, have a great day. And I hope you be very happy and have lots of fun today. And join my Discord. Or something bad will happen. I try to suck on his toes. He has a nose. I'm up with Steve on the stove. Ryan, you know he's a hoax. This is a game will long cut your David. He can defend and Patrick is a bit. Tommy's a beast. You cannot tame him. Blocky by block block. Haram is dangerous. What is he saying? Abby's a thotter. Y'all see Lucia. She is so much hotter. And also Helen. You know she's a butter. Can't tell us cheeks. They